Hello and welcome. Uh, this is on PS5. We're going to play around with some PS4 games on PS5 today. I originally had started this video uh, before and then had forgotten to make sure that I wasn't in areas where there would be a lot of spoilers. So now we're starting over again. But I figured while, uh, while waiting for my PS5 games to download, we'd come check out what some PS4 games were like. Uh, Bloodborne's still running at 30 frames, but load times are infinitesimally, or not infinitesimally, way better. Instantly and noticeably different is what I was going for. Um, loading times of like 20 seconds, which is really crazy. Uh, this is what I get for trying to talk about loading times while playing. 20 seconds uh, to be able to go from lamp to lamp, which is pretty nuts when you consider how long it took when this game first came out. Go a little bit further here, play around with this a little bit more, and then we'll switch. I figure we're probably going to do like five or six different PS4 games and see how they run. Hello, sir. Uh, have you heard the good news of the church pick? Oh, boy. Excuse me, people. It's only been a very long time since the last I played Bloodborne. Gotcha. Get some rally. What other weapon do I have equipped? Oh, Ludwig. Okay. Where'd he go with his gun? Right there. Got him. Hello, sir. No. Oh. I'm not actually using the shield for anything. It just looks cool. I have a gun on the other hand that we can get a clutch counter there with. I just think the shield looks cool to run around with. We'll clear these guys out and then we'll switch games again. Oh boy. It's such a good game that I just really want to dive back into again. As you can tell, I'm out of practice, but. All right. There's like one large elite enemy on the other side of the door, or he might already be dead, but fight him. There's another squad on the other side of the door, too. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And obviously, like, it's, it's not really up everything, you know? It still looks like Bloodborne. Uh, but... Feels good. Feels like Bloodborne. Hello, sir. Would you like to play? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Your blood vials will sustain me. Dark. In the night. Weapon at risk. I guess I never actually like rested at a lantern, did I? Okay, well. Aha! Miles Morales is now ready to play. All right, well, we'll switch to the next game. I think we can go home and then straight up to uh, over here. Stalled. And let's switch to some Gundam. See how quickly that loads in. Then after that, we'll probably do some Genshin. Genshin Impact has an incredible long, incredibly long load time uh, on boot on PS4. So hopefully that will be cleared out here as well. All right. Go into a 
match here. Let's see how long it takes us to get into a free battle. Uh, as you can see, these are the suits that I was just using last for the uh, suit breakdown. Let's just do a match with the Yakdoga. That'll be coming up on the suit breakdown relatively soon. The PS5 is definitely more powerful, but the only real change that I'm seeing so far is in load times. Uh, the nice thing to me is that I'm playing these games natively. I'm not having to stream them to the console. I'm playing them natively and playing them as if I was still on PS4, which means realistically I could move the PS4 into another room and use it as well in a different room. I can record anything that I need to record for the channel. It's on PS4 on PS5 right now, unless it's like unable to be played on there for whatever reason. But it all seems to be working pretty well. You know, uh, you got me. Yeah, you got me. Uh, that was a melee burst. I forgot his is, his is not ranged. Get him, funnels. Funnels. Should have picked a suit that I actually like to play with. But yeah, it's playing just fine. No issues at all. Gotcha. Boom. Now he comes in at overcost. And we can finish him off. Funnels. There we go. The really impressive thing to me is how quickly we can go from game to game. And I want to test out the switcher now. So we've done our match of Maxi Boost on. Working fine. No issues. Played just like if we were playing on PS4. Everything's good. And then if I do this and go switcher, can I go straight back into Bloodborne? And how quickly does that take? Or how long does that take? How quickly does it go is what I meant. Okay. Does it just take us right back in? Okay, so it takes us back to Cold Boot. Still, that's really cool. If I then was to switch back to Maxi Boost on, will it put us back where we were? Because the Souls games have that... Uh, no, it takes us back to the main menu. Okay. So we can't just jump in between and be at specific spots, but... All right, let's try another one. That's how quick we can switch games, though, which is really nice. Game library. I wish I didn't have to come back to immediately go to installed. I wish I could just have it set to default to installed. Let's try out Genshin. See how long it takes Genshin to boot. Because it's a, it's a pretty long boot on PS4. It's a pretty long boot on PS4, and PS5 boot seems to be taking a little bit as well. Let's see. I'm hoping that I have my save. I should when I hit login. Okay. So it does still have to download resources natively. Either that or there was another update, but it seems to be doing it pretty quickly. I can't believe that we have played a couple minutes of Bloodborne and done a maxi boost on match in 10 minutes. Like, we have just switched between them on the fly like that, which I think is really cool. I really like, too, that I don't now have to have... I'm still going to have the PS4 hooked up, but I can take it to a different room if I want to. Because I don't have to have both running for Game of the Year now. I can just use the PS5 
uh, which is really useful, honestly. Because there's a whole handful of games that I still got to beat for Game of the Year that are PS4 exclusive. Well, the load test isn't quite as quick as it would have been otherwise. Now, here is where it takes forever, right, to connect. Uh, my user ID is 000 for some I'm worried that it did not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here's where it takes forever to connect. But we'll find out now how much faster or slower it is. Because when I log into Genshin on PS4, I normally just set the controller down for a minute and pull up a YouTube video because I have a minute. I don't have to worry about it locking out, but it's going to take forever to log in. It looks like uh, loading time, loading in, still not incredible. Now, granted, it is still just the PS4 version being played on the PS5. I was hoping it would be way faster. Uh, but what I want to test is once the world has loaded, how fast can we teleport? Because the teleport is also like a good 20 seconds every time you teleport. Uh, which you definitely notice. It starts to drag on you a little bit. It's funny. I think this is the longest we've spent in loading times in the PS5 so far. I don't want to cut any of this out, even though I know it's super boring, because that's the point of this video is to show how long it takes. But, uh, yeah. Taking a little bit. Taking a little bit. Here we go. All right. Okay. Everything does feel a little smoother. But it also, there's like, it's taking a second to load in. It's chugging a little bit. Let's try teleport. The map. Maybe comes up a little bit faster. It's hard to say. Now, let's not spoil a bunch of map stuff for people. Let's just go to Wangshu in. How long does it take to teleport? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five. 9, 30, 31, 3, 4, 5. I think I'm counting a little bit too fast, so we'll shave off like 4. 2, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so load time still not much better, honestly. Still not much better uh, when it comes to that. Game seems to run pretty well, though. Let's do a little bit of quick combat. And then maybe we'll see about uh, switching again. Man, I love this game. There should be some hillichurls out here among these islands. We're getting a little bit of pop in, too. I wonder if once the world has gotten to fully load in, everything will be good. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, it's definitely chugging. It's also definitely moving way, like it's at a higher frame rate. I wonder if the frame rate's uncapped now or if it just runs at 30 on PS4 and I never notice. But it's definitely running at a higher frame rate. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, I'm under the boat. That's a problem. Climb up. No! Flight. No, I don't have a bow equipped. Oh, that's super annoying. I need to take this guy out first. To have a chance to take the other ones out. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Get up, Kachin. You're too short. Got it. Yeah, it seems like once it got over the original chugging, it definitely seems to be running better now. But there definitely was some chug at the start. What about switching? Man, it looks good in 60. If this is 60 and not just uncapped. Everything's so smooth. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's what I was kind of hoping though, you know, like the PS5 versions, they don't have to up res them. They don't have to make the games look better, but if they run better, then I'm happy. And I was really concerned at the start there with that, uh, the chugging. But it seems to be doing better now. Where is that Kalia? Okay. Not bad. It definitely, it definitely is running better now. All right. Now let's try another teleport then real quick. Now that it's, it's gotten over that initial chug. Let's go to Leafwa Pool. Luhua cool, I suppose, and see what's going on there. See how long this load-in takes. It's going to be a while again, I'm afraid. And I'm sure games will get patches to be able to run better on PS5 as well over time. But we'll see. Uh, after we load in here at Lihua uh, Pools and see what it... I wanted to know really if it chugs again as soon as you load into an area. But no, it really seemed to just be that first chug. And then after that, it seems like we're pretty good. There's a little bit there, but it seems like we're pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's try another one then. Library. See that Demon Souls is working on right now. Very nice. Uh, let's boot up Ghost Tsushima. How do the loads look on it? And is it running at a higher frame rate as compared to... Pretty sure it was capped at 30 on uh, PS4. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care about network features. I just want to see how it runs. I want to do like two or three more games here, and we'll call it. Because I know there are people that look at the current lineup of launch titles and go, I don't care about any of those. And I can't blame them, right? Uh, I think most of them look really cool, but that's just me. So if there's an option for, hey, I can play games that I already like, better they run better then it should still be worth getting a ps5 if you can get your hands on one uh right now depending so we shall see okay ghost tsushima load also seems to be about the same so far as it was on ps4 i would be very surprised if it was longer than on ps5 but right now it seems pretty pretty standard we'll continue from where we were which I might have been in New Game Plus. I can't remember. Uh, no, I had not booted New Game Plus yet, according to that tutorial tip. We should be in the post game, which is just running around, which is perfect, because that's what I want to do. I want to run around. 
Do 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 loading screens and the porn is that we're watching all of them. Don't cut this out, train no matter what. Okay. Uh yep, new game plus has been unlocked. I don't remember how to do It feels like we might be moving faster. But it's not as obvious as Genshin was. However, the rumble. The rumble of the DualSense controller is definitely still there. Obviously, there's no like DualSense. Like, we're not. We don't feel the water moving around us or anything. See if we can find some Mongols to fight. That was the wrong button. Almost hit my horse. That would have been bad. I 100 percent in this game. So we don't have any force to take, but I knew there would probably be some wandering enemies here. Come and fight. I am very out of practice, so let's see how this goes. One. Two. Three. Very nice. Yeah, that the sheath is definitely faster. I think we might be at 60 now. Kind of hard to tell, but it feels like it. Let's see if we can find one more set of Mongols, and then I want to see if we can quick switch back to Genshin and what happens. If it just takes us back to the main menu, then we'll just go ahead and immediately switch to another game. Because I don't think Switcher works the way that I want it to. It's still cool being able to switch back to the other game, go back to the menu. That's cool. We can fight a bear. Come, bear. Oh, here we go. Aha. I didn't quite do what I'd planned to do there, but it worked out. All right, let's try a quick switcher. We go back to Genshin. See, what I wanted to do is work like coming off a of suspend and just put me right back in the world. I know that's not going to. I know that's not going to be how it works. Because there's no way it would have that game running in the background still. It's going to take me back to the main menu. And, like, that's fine. That's that's a better... That's still good, you know? But, yeah, it takes us back to the main menu. Okay. Uh, let's do, like, one more, maybe two more games. Sold. Uh... Trying to think of what I have saves in right now. We could just go straight into. Uh, what about FF7 Re? I have that installed. It... Yeah. Go into FF7 Remake, see how it looks or plays, I guess. I'm sure it will probably be almost exactly the same as it was before. An update for that, too. Yeah, we'll jump in here and then we'll check one more game and then we'll call it. But so far, I'm very impressed. Genshin runs better. I think Ghost of Tsushima runs a little bit better. Bloodborne has way faster loading times, which is the biggest problem that game had, in my opinion. Uh, maybe the only problem? It's almost perfect, you know? Oh, additional content. Okay, cool. I'm down for free stuff. Okay. Probably because it has an update, right? Uh, Sure, report the problem that... I'm not sure what happened, but let's try it again. How big is the update? Okay, we're just going to do a different game then. That on our, like accidentally wound up being a how to report a bug issue on PS5. Uh, Yeah, let's do Guilty Gear.
Let's do Exert Ref 2. I'm curious how a PS4 fighting game runs on PS5. And it should run exactly the same way. There should be no real differences other than maybe faster loading time, hopefully. That's the thing I'm I'm really leaning into because it is still just the PS4 version playing. Uh, but curious. Let's find out. All these uh, unskippable logos don't help with the quick get into a game mentality that the PS5 is pushing that I've seen already just in the two PS5 games I've played. Okay. Battle. Uh, arcade versus. It's fine. Soul versus uh, whoever. I don't care. I don't care. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. I'm so excited for Strive. Yeah, this AI is probably going to be a cakewalk, but that's okay. Oh, there you go. I really thought he was going to go in. Oh, boy. All right. All right. All right. Round two. I really thought he was going to go in. That's what I get. Yep. There we go. Okay. Guilty Gear. You run fine. Fighting games. I don't know why I specifically wanted to try a fighting game when there was a very good chance that there was going to be no difference, really, but I did. Uh, let's do one more. And then I'm saving that for a video. That's not because I think it's a good game. Uh, let's do... Uh, Pirate Warriors 4 has a pretty long load in. PS4, let's see what it's like on PS5. Curious. And then we'll call it. I also want to know, that's not a good sign. Uh, the switcher, does it save? Okay, it's just the last two. It doesn't save uh, like PS5 games on there. Interesting. This is not going to be faster. I can feel it already based on how it's going. This is not going to be faster. This is not going to be faster at all. I wonder how much of that is like it's programmed to have a specific load time and the PS5 can't help it. You know, like it's programmed to use a specific amount of resources. The PS5 can't make it go faster. Cause it's really interesting to me what does go faster and what doesn't. Like Bloodborne being faster is really cool. But uh, One Piece is definitely not faster. Definitely not. Free log. Oh, give me treasure log. That's what I wanted. Uh, grand line, that's fine. Let's do this one. 
Let's go as where's my boy? Let's go as Brook. Soul King Brook. And let's go. Yep. Does not feel faster at all. I thought about trying to boot like Yakuza, but I don't want to spoil that for people really. Maybe we'll just boot it up after this just to, to see how quickly we can get in there. Since it's a newer game, like it just came out, you know. But it's really odd to me that like Bloodborne boots so quickly now. And stuff like Genshin and One Piece does not. It really makes it feel like it's set. Whereas Bloodborne just can go, you know. La -da -la -da. Load, 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 load. I hate that in hindsight, the point of this video is just to watch loading screen. Gameplay wise, though, still seems to run about the same. It still seems to work just about the same. Which is good. Definitely didn't want it to run worse, you know? Tsukiri! <laughs> okay. Definitely shouldn't have been walking down from that guy's back, but why not? Okay, so I mean, it still seems to work fine. But definitely doesn't run better, I don't think. It just runs about the same. Alright, let's try... One more. I know I keep saying one more. But let's try one more. Installed. Let's try Like a Dragon. Maybe if we boot into Like a Dragon, how quickly does it boot? Will it be fast or will it be slow? It's really weird. I wish I knew how it works. What gets chosen to boot faster and what doesn't, you know? Okay, like a dragon. Continue. Data. Now that we're in the game, will the loading screens go faster? Uh, yeah, that's definitely faster. It's not like a lot faster, but it's definitely faster. Unless it like hitches further into the loading. Which it just did, so never mind then, maybe. The bar definitely moved faster, but it still seems to be taking about the same amount of time. Still taking about the same amount of time. Game runs great though. It runs great. Can we find a random battle out here? We find a random battle. Excuse me people, I'm sorry, I apologize. Looking for some people to fight. I don't see anybody. Sorry, boss. It runs great, though. I don't notice any big difference in the way that it runs. Yeah, it still feels like Genshin and uh, Bloodborne are like the most drastic. But hopefully updates come out that make things run better. Alright, well let's try. There's one last thing I want to do. 
I want to, since I didn't show the boot because I went into spoilers because I wasn't thinking, I want to show the straight boot into Bloodborne to show how much faster it is. And then we will call this video. I know I've said we were going to call this video like six times, but then we will call this video. Uh, because Bloodborne is noticeably what it used to be. Those original loading screens were like a minute long. And the first time I booted it, I got a 20 second load, which is like infinitely better. Play offline, continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. and there we go yeah that is infinitely faster so a minute of your thoughts on playing ps4 games on the ps5 you excited for it i personally am very excited for it because it means i can work off of one machine instead of having to work off of two uh but let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below and until next time i've been trey this has been the full spectrum remember to always enjoy the full spectrum that ps5 has to offer